What's going on guys? I know it's been a long time between videos. Things are starting to progress a little bit here in Melbourne uh, with the COVID and everything like that. Uh, we're potentially facing a full lockdown in the in the coming weeks. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe. Uh, enjoy this video. We'll see you on site. So this is the first one we did. Mind you, it's about five minute drives from our house around the corner. We finished this one about a week and a half ago. As you can see, it hasn't been well, you might not be able to see it. hasn't been washed yet um, but that's the next thing that we're going to dip our toes into I've got my mate Luca who you might have seen in the brick washing video if you haven't I'll uh, link the video in the description down below but he's going to be making me up a machine brick washing machine it's what I'm going to sort of try next is doing brick washing as well as brick laying cleaning my own jobs try to keep it as clean as I possibly can this gives us more uh, sort of it gives us more onus on keeping our own job nice and clean. You know, open up a separate business potentially, and um, yeah, get into a bit of brick washing, just trying something different. Two beer with a big bar over the top. For a single story, there's quite a fair bit, quite a fair few bricks in this one as well. Uh, we got that one finished without any issues, which is good. Now we're only working across the road in that estate there. So a couple of houses close to home is good for us. Working for a new company now. And um, yeah, going good. Got jobs lined up, which is always the main thing. See you on the next one. So we're back here at the current job that we're working on. Got a big house, 40 pools up. Down the side, down the other side. Fair few bricks in this one. Been here for just probably about a week and a half. Um, chipping away at it. See, nice wall at the back. It's got, of course, it's got another overhand garage. So I've done 11 houses this year, and every one of them has a zero boundary wall. We're working down sort of a tight gap here. So we're actually getting quite used to it. We're getting pretty good at doing them now. We're getting them up with some speed, keeping it nice and clean on the inside. Everything nice and full and brushed down as well. So we think it come up all right. Dino's putting a batch in in the morning. First one of the day. And this is what the facade looks like so far. I haven't quite finished it. We've got a couple of rendered pillars with a T-bar across the front. So it looks like I've got the entrance done. Got up and over from the two garage piers. We had a welded bar already on here. So we made this work bricks and gauged down from the um, down from the bars you can see there the only issue with that is when we've got to our other windows it hasn't worked bricks to the top of the window so I don't know if the windows have, haven't been set at the same height as the um, as the welded t-bar at the front of the house obviously there's not a lot of room to play we've got 20 mil or so so we can't lift them up and make them work bricks anyway we're going to do this alfresco section we've got the front two rent piers this side to go and the alfresco section out the back which we'll do now a bit fiddly not a lot of bricks in it six bricks here four bricks in that return so it's going to be a bit fiddly in the morning so it's up pan so we'll see a bit quiet monday morning understandable so we're going to get this fiddly section out put the two big bars on the door and, and sort that out so that's what we'll do this morning
that's the morning. It's almost 11 o'clock now. We're just setting up this next section down the side. We've got this old practice fresco section finished. Just a small section. It was really taking us a lot of time to get done just because there's a lot there's cuts in the internal corner and also this over side over here. Very fiddly, but um we've got it done. Got that finished. you mentioned porting and and also what I would call sport. Yeah, that's done. We'll have something to eat now. We'll set this side section up with bricks and um we'll get halfway down that side hopefully done today so that concludes the day it's about 2 30 odd what we'll do is pull down this section we'll set up the next one we'll get ourselves ready for tomorrow catch this bit up and uh and scaffold that and get that ready to go but that's today's that's today's a pan. Boys are happy. I'm happy. We'll set ourselves up for tomorrow. Stack some bricks, clean up the site. And yeah. What do you reckon, Pan? Just before we head off, cleaned up the site down the side. Big jumbo bag here full of bricks, obviously. And what we've done, as you can see, got our stands ready to go. Fingers crossed they'll, they'll stay here and not get knocked off. Set up our two profiles either side of the meter box. Um, gauge them up as well. Got a line either side. Running off the bricks that we did yesterday. Bricks are up. Bricks are stacked. And so we can rock up in the morning, put a batch in, and we're ready to go. We'll get that up to 20 odd courses, and then we'll, we'll run a line from there. Catch up this corner bit in front of the house. If we get that done tomorrow, that will leave us with the two render piers at the front. We've got to get another uh, lintel over there, put that up. I think it goes up six or eight courses above the two piers there, and then wrap it around with sills. So I'm, I'm thinking another two, maybe three days here. We've got a few calls today from a couple of other builders, so that's pretty good. Things are looking all right. We've got a bit of work lined up, which is always uh, uh, a bonus. So it looks like we're going to have plenty of content coming up. Going to be a busy couple of weeks. Um, hopefully get a lot more content out for you guys. Enjoying the videos. Let me know what you want to see. See you tomorrow.